ho! It's Santa here. A very merry Christmas and the happiest New Year. Ho! In this video, we are going to make some sparklers. Sparklers work by having small fragments of burning metals flying out from the pyrotechnic composition. This is the same principle as in our metal powder video, except that we now have a solid oxidizing agent instead of plain oxygen in the air and that all components are mixed together in a single unit. So let's get started. Here are the chemicals you are going to need for one batch. First of all, our oxidizing agent. We are going to use 5.5 grams of barium nitrate. We synthesized it in our first Christmas special. Our second chemical is the binder we need so that the sparkler holds well together. In our case, 1.5 grams of dextrin, prepared in our last video, will be used. Now for the metal powders. In order that the sparkler burns hot enough for other metal powders to ignite, 0.5 grams of aluminium powder will be our primary fuel. For the spark effects themselves, you can use a lot of different metal powders. In our case, we made separate batches with iron powder and with magnesium powder. Use 2.5 grams for both. To protect the metals from premature oxidation, rusting and local cell formation, we need a few cubic centimeters of hexane or toluene and some stearic acid. And last but not least, some degreased iron rods and straws. Okay, here we go. We first prepare our metal powders. Dissolve some powdered stearic acid in hexane or toluene. Pour some of this solution over your metal powders and stir well. This serves the purpose of creating a thin film of stearic acid on the metal surface, once our solvent has evaporated. This will protect the grains of metal from corrosion and local cell formation. The finer your metal powder, the more important this step will be. That's how the metal powders look like after drying. We now have to finally pulverize our barium nitrate in a mortar. Degrease your steel rods so that the composition will stick well to it. You can use hexane for this as well. Now combine all the chemicals in a shallow dish and warm up some water. Mixing it while still dry improves the uniformity of the mix. Add just a little boiling hot water to the powder, so that a thick, sticky paste is formed. With the help of a spatula, this mix is then applied to the steel rods. You can certainly do a better job to get a uniform layer on the rods.
that's how one of the finished sparklers looks like. After our batch with the iron powder, we did the exact same thing with magnesium powder. The magnesium powder was treated with stearic acid and hexane as well. After drying, the mass on the sparklers has solidified into a hard crust. The sparklers on the right are made with magnesium powder, the ones on the left with iron powder. Let's test them out. First, our iron powder sparklers. It works, but it's not satisfying. At least the sparks glow for a long time and fly out a far distance. Maybe it is still a little moist. Now for our magnesium sparklers. UPS, that went off like a flash bomb. Our magnesium powder was way too fine for this. At least these sparklers can be used to prank and blind others. Overall, it was a fun project. It might need some fine tuning. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.